Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Abhijit and today in this video, I will tell you how to reactivate picklist multi-select values in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, we deactivate the values of picklist multi-select field when we do not require them. But we can again access these deactivated values from the list of inactive values. And from there, we can again pick those values and reactivate them. So we are going to see the process of reactivating the values of picklist multi-select field in the both versions of Salesforce, that is Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic. So Let's move ahead and see the process. So right now I have logged into my Salesforce account and this is the setup page of Salesforce Lightning and on the setup page you have to click on the object manager and in the object manager we have to select an object with an existing picklist multi-select field. So I have an object opportunity which consists of a deactivated picklist multi-select value. So I will click on the opportunity. Now in the details column on the left sidebar click on this fields and relationships and from here we will select the picklist multi-select field which is this lead opportunity and now here as you can see in the section inactive values these are the values which we have deactivated earlier and now to reactivate this value we have to simply click on this activate button and as we click on activate this value steven got activated and now it is in the list of values so this is how we reactivate a deactivated value in salesforce lightning so now we will move ahead and see the same process in salesforce classic as well and to go to the salesforce classic we have to click on this profile and in the drop down click on this switch to salesforce classic so right now I am on the home page of Salesforce Classic and from here you have to go to this setup tab and in the setup scroll down and go to this build section and here click on this customize drop down and the customize drop down you can see the list of objects from here you have to select the object with an existing picklist multi-select field so I have a deactivated picklist multi-select values in the object opportunities so click on the drop down of the objects and then click on the fields and in the section opportunity custom fields and relationships select the picklist multi-select field and for that click on the label of the field and here in the section inactive fields you can see a deactivated values and to reactivate this value we have to simply click on this activate button and now as you can see this deactivated value is again reactivated and added to the values section so this is how we reactivate a deactivated value in salesforce classic and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for watching this video till last and giving your time see you in the next video till then goodbye